Constantin is doing what he's been doing for years, filling up buckets with water and feeding the horses. This black horse with a white mark on its forehead is his favorite. His name is Indus. Indus is the leader of the herd whose home was in Kriminna, in Ukraine's Luhansk region. When the bomb started falling, this stallion led the other horses to a safe spot. If it were not for him, there would be nothing left of the herd now. Kostantin was a handler and stunt rider in an equestrian theatrical show in Kiev when Russia invaded Ukraine. He was learning to become a blacksmith so he could shoe the horses himself. When he heard the war had started, he asked his friends in Krimina to open the stables, because he was afraid the animals might starve if left unattended. When the shelling started, the horses ran. They would hide in the fields, but they would inevitably come back home. By then, mass evacuations of civilians were underway in Krimina, but Konstantin was determined to save the horses. First, he asked the International Federation for Equestrian Sports for help, then started raising money and looking for volunteers. Today, he says it's a true miracle the animals were saved. When we finally arrived to Krimina, it was nighttime. When I fed every one of them, when I gave them water, I sat down and looked at them. Even then, I didn't fully realize what we had done. But after I finally processed everything, I just sat there looking at them, and I cried like a child. <laughs> he evacuated a total of 11 horses. Five were taken to Ternopil, the rest to Dnipro. Now there are 20 horses in these stables. Some of them are refugees. Marina calls herself a nomad. It's the second time she, together with her horse, has run away from war. In 2014, she left her hometown of Donetsk when it was occupied by Russian separatists. Then she moved to Kharkiv. This time she had to flee again. And of course, her horse went with her. His name is Avtoritet. I call him Ayuha. He's a mommy's boy. He's 12 already. After the first few bombs fell in Kharkov, I decided I would risk it, and we left. Konstantin plans to resume his equestrian work in the Ternopil region and launch horse therapy sessions for Ukrainian children and soldiers traumatized by war. We'll call our theater, our stables, Kreminchina. We'll pay homage to our native town this way. For Yaroslava Mavchan in Dnipro, Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.